Now, Jaleel, I know the recruiting process is probably, after a while, you know, it wears on you. A lot of stuff goes into it. How does it feel now to know where you're going to play your, your college football and to be a Kentucky Wildcat? Oh, it feels real great. Um, you know, the recruiting process can get uh, pretty wearing, uh, tiring at times. Uh, it's a great process. It's uh, a blessing to be in that process, but it can get kind of tiring. And it's just a weight off my shoulders now that I know where I'm playing football. And it's a great place to play, so I'm excited. You had a lot of, a lot of schools after you. What was it that, that finally convinced you that UK was the right place for you next season? Uh, a lot of things, you know, it's real close to home, about an hour and a half out. Um, it's in the SEC, the best football conference in America uh, for college football. Um, I, I love the new staff um, with Coach Stoops and all the guys he's brought along and um, the players are buying into his program, the ones I follow on Twitter. And, and you know, they really want to do great things. And then my mom was very comfortable with it. Um, they gave me the option to run track because I'm also a track runner too. So they gave me an option to run track too while I was there. So uh, if I really want to do that, then uh, I can do that too. And, you know, they just put all the things in place that made me want to pull the trigger. You mentioned Twitter. You've been all over Twitter. The fans seem like they've had fun interacting with you, and you enjoy it. Well, what's that been like having Kentucky fans or fans from other school be able to communicate during the process and sense your commitment? Oh, I love it. Um, it shows why BBN is the you know greatest fan base in America. You know, what, what, so give us like the scouting report. Uh, a lot of people you, know, you see on the websites and things like that. Tell us what kind of player you are and what fans can expect to see from you. Uh, well, I love man coverage. Uh, I love pressing. Uh, you know, real feisty type of guy in coverage. Uh, I like being on the island, that type of guy. Uh, play really fast. You know, I want to um, get uh, a little bit more bulk to me, you know, so I can uh, add that physical part um, to my game that I need uh, playing in the SEC. But, you know, uh, everybody's not flawless. So uh, I just got to work on that. And hopefully Coach Stoops can make me a better defensive back. You're coming into a program where the excitement right now is maybe unparalleled in the history. Fans are excited, and part of it is because the staff uh, talks about the future, and they seem genuinely optimistic and excited about what's going on with the program. What do they say, like when they sit down with you, what is their message to, to recruits about the future of U.K. football? Uh, they're excited. Everybody's excited. You can tell um, the fans, the papers, the, uh, the press, all the, all the people, the recruits. Um, everybody's excited about U.K. football because they really want to start a tradition and build something special and be uh, a legit contender in the SEC. And, you know, it's just been a blessing to be a part of that. All right, we went to Twitter uh, before the interview, so we have a couple of questions. Uh, one of them, I know you mentioned the option to run track. Uh, Kay Bueno asked if you're going to run track. So are you leaning towards doing that, or is it, what events uh, do, you, do you do in high school that maybe you look at when you get to college? Um, you know, I run a variety of events uh, in high school. Uh, wherever Coach Russo puts me, that's kind of where <laughs> I run. I ran uh, 100, 200, 400, and 800, and then the relays to go along with that. So um, it, it just kind of depends on this track season and then how I develop uh, as a football player in my freshman uh, year in college and whether I want to focus more on football or uh, try to add a little bit more speed and, um, you know, do that with the track program at UK. So uh, that's in the near future, but uh, I haven't decided yet. Football Cat asks, uh, if you know, do you expect to play as a freshman as the staff told you kind of their expectations for you in your first year on campus? Um, well, I definitely, I'm definitely going to come in and compete as a freshman uh, and compete for that starting position. Um, that's one of the reasons, uh, things he told me. But, um, you know, no coach ever tells you that um, you're, you're guaranteed a spot. And I love that. I love the competition. So I'm definitely going to compete for a spot um, this fall. Alex Nikolic is our last Twitter question. He wants to know that now if you're committed, are you now a recruiter? Are there any other guys out there that you're going to pursue and try to, to, to pull with you to come to Lexington? Oh, yeah, I'm trying. You should see my Twitter right now. I'm trying. Uh, uh, I'm trying. There's so many great players and uh, so many people looking at UK. Kyle Meadows down the street from me. Uh, he's an offensive lineman that's looking at UK, trying to get him on board. Uh, I talked to uh, Ryan Timmons the other day. I, I believe he's a running back from uh, Kentucky. Um, you know, he's real interested in Kentucky and uh, trying to get him to pull the trigger. So we just try and get some great players, you know, the great players from Ohio, great players from Kentucky and uh, any great players we could get on board to get this thing rolling. Uh, uh, you know, I got the chance to talk to um, Dakari Johnson on um, the center that just committed yeah. and, you know, we hit it off right away and I'm excited to see him play next season and we're going to uh, hook up once we get to campus. But um, 
yeah, any players that, um, you know, Coach Stoops is looking at and uh, I, I've met or I'm trying to meet or I want them to be a part of the team. There's so many great players out there that UK is going after. And I just, you know, I feel like recruits can help influence that too. Um, and I believe this is like an all-in effort. Um, it's going to take all the fans. It's going to take the press. It's going to take the recruits, the team uh, now and everything to get this program turned around. And I just want to do my part. Well, we talked to uh, – we've been asking everybody this question. It's a little goofy. Stephen Borden is going to be a teammate of yours, a tight end. His dad's the wrestler Sting. So were you a wrestling fan growing up? Do you have, like, a favorite wrestler? Or did you not really get into that at all? Sting was my favorite wrestler well, <laughs> growing up. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's going to be real interesting. i got to meet him. Uh, before we let you go, is there anything, any final words you want to say to uh, Big Blue Nation before you get on campus? Uh, I'm just excited, man. I'm just real excited. Um, can't wait to get this thing rolling. Um, I, I know a lot of great commits and a lot of great recruits is going to commit in these next coming weeks, so everybody be tuned. Uh, I'm going to try to do my part still, and I can't wait to get on campus and finish off here at LaSalle. All right, Julio Heights, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time. All right, no problem.